You're welcome to my YouTube channel movie trailer. To provide you with the best scenes, comments and explanation of most popular videos you love watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel movie trailer to be the first to see all my new updates. Episode 3 of Wednesday begins precisely where we left off in the past part, with Wednesday caught in the mysterious nightshade room. The pack over her head is eliminated and her hands are bound behind her. Shrouded individuals encompass her yet she spots Bianca and requests that she remove her cover. Everybody takes their covers off and Xavier asks how she found out about their mystery room. She answers that Rowan showed her. It seems like the nightshades have been coveredly flourishing with the consent of the head. They are currently in a quandary about how to manage Wednesday who coincidentally found their mysterious society. Xavier believes her should make the vow and go along with them while Bianca imagines that is a horrendous thought. Then again, Wednesday thinks often less about joining their mysterious society. She liberates herself and leaves subsequent to considering them novices who give capturing a terrible name. Have to adore her comical inclination. The following morning, the chief declares that understudies will be supposed to do deliberate positions that day followed by a local area lunch. They will likewise have a devotion of a commemoration sculpture in the town square and they are supposed to as needs be act. Wednesday is positioned to work at Uriah's stack, a second-hand shop store. The chief likewise illuminates her that she marked her up for a presentation. She believes Wednesday should play her cello and go with the adjoining school. While in the neighborhood for their particular pro bono positions, Wednesday lets Xavier know that she actually thinks Rowan is dead. Xavier doesn't completely accept that her yet will address her inquiries regarding the image in the book. He tells her the man in the image is Jericho Crackstone, the town's principal architect. Meanwhile, the sheriff is persuaded that the new goes after in the forest are connected to Nevermore. Notwithstanding, the city chairman doesn't share his considerations and requests that he find the bear and deal with it. He advises him that Nevermore is the town's greatest type of revenue so they can't go around pointing fingers at them. Wednesday requests that Enid switch their pro bono positions so she can approach Explorer World and dive more deeply into Crackstone. True to form, the day doesn't go without a hitch. The three miscreants begin bugging Eugene. However, he is saved by Wednesday. Enid and her crush Ajax have a modestly frightening involvement with the secondhand shop store. This, be that as it may, doesn't prevent Enid from making a move and playing with Ajax who is basically as dumbfounded. Subsequent to saving Eugene, Wednesday requests that he beat her post as she breaks into Crackstone's old gathering house. While there, she sees a picture and perceives the young lady from her past vision. She likewise perceives the book the young lady is conveying in the representation. Tragically, the first book isn't in the gathering house. Wednesday's little sneaking around rendezvous is stopped by Arlene, an educator. Arlene reassigns them to a new position yet Wednesday is resolved to finding the genuine gathering house. She visits Tyler and runs into Xavier too, who is chipping in at the bistro. He alerts her to avoid Tyler however Wednesday advises him that she can pursue her own choices on who to connect with. Wednesday inquires as to whether he knows the area of the genuine house. Tyler will take her and requests that she sit tight for him yet she rejects. The house is situated in the forest so she chooses to take Thing with her. At the house, she attempts to contact Things wanting to get a dream. From the outset, it doesn't work yet as she is going to leave, she gets a dream. In the vision, she sees the young lady once more, she is Goody. She is being mistreated by a gathering of pioneers drove by Crackstone. He blames her for being a witch and Lucifer's paramour. He impels the group to toss her and her local area of untouchables into a house and set it burning. Goody's mom requests that she get away and save herself so she can retaliate for them. She figures out how to escape from the house yet Crackstone winds up pursuing her. Wednesday awakens from her vision and spots the beast sneaking close by. She pursues it into the forest and finds that the beast can change into a human. As she processes this new data, Xavier appears out of nowhere and she has a go at showing him the beast's impressions however unfortunately they have been washed away by the downpour. Wednesday is likewise worried about how Xavier incidentally turned out to be there at that exact second. He tells her that he heard her discussion with Tyler and came to ensure she is protected. As they head once again into town, he gets some information about her dreams and cautions her that they probably won't be dependable. His father is an eminent clairvoyant and has composed books regarding this situation. So Xavier thinks he is a specialist likewise. He likewise advises Wednesday that he is beginning to accept that something awful happened to Rowan as he has been acting odd in his instant messages. 
he additionally thinks her vision of Crackstone doesn't have anything to do with what's to come. Wednesday accepts that it is all integrated and that Rowan was correct about the looming destruction. Wednesday shows up in the neighborhood with perfect timing for the band execution, getting going the divulging of the sculpture festivity. She utilizes the assistance of Thing to set the sculpture ablaze during the exhibition. As everybody takes off, she smoothly sits in the midst of the disarray and strongly plays her cello. After the function, the chief is incensed and that Wednesday is the offender, however has no proof. Wednesday swears her hands are spotless and questions the primary on her choice to conceal reality. The chief tells her that she can't gamble with having Nevermore destroyed on her watch. She needs to begin once again and get along with individuals of the town. Wednesday tells her that won't ever work in light of the fact that most residents actually can't stand them. Soon thereafter, the beast assaults another person and the assault is caught on the casualties camera. Somewhere else, Enid is amped up for her most memorable date with Ajax yet he has a mirror mishap and can't make it. Enid thinks he stood her up and is disheartened and furious. As the episode closes, we see a few characters concealing insider facts, and the sheriff fostering the film from the crime location. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel Movie Trailer. This encouraged me to produce more valuable content for you guys. Stay stood up to see more episodes of Wednesday.